Hello everyone, in this video we are given this nice exponential equation 1 to the power x plus 2 to the power x is equal to 4 to the power x and we are to find the value of x where x is a real number. Before we begin, if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started. We have 1 to the power x plus 2 to the power x is equal to 4 to the power x. Now let's go ahead and then divide through by 4 to the power x. From here we will have 1 over 4 all to the power x. Then plus this side we will have 2 over 4 all to the power x. Then on the right hand side of the equation we have 1. And we can simplify this as 1 over 2 to the power 2 or to the power x plus here we have 1 over 2 to the power x and the right hand side is 1. Nice. Now let's pay attention to this term over here. We can write this as 1 over 2 or to the power 2 then or to the power x. Then plus what we have here, 1 half all to the power x. Then the right we have 1 nicely like this. Now from here we will apply a rule which says that a to the power m all to the power n is the same as a to the power n all to the power m. So straight away we can interchange the positions of m and n. So from here we're going to have 1 over 2 all to the power x, then all to the power 2 plus 1 over 2 all to the power x is equal to 1. Now let's go ahead and then let 1 over 2 to the power x equal to, let's say, m, right? So the equation now becomes m to the second power plus m is equal to 1. And this is a quadratic equation. And to solve any quadratic equation, you need to equate everything to 0. So we're going to have m squared plus m minus 1 is equal to 0. So I have copied down the quadratic equation once again. If we compare this one to the general quadratic equation, which is am squared plus bm plus c is equal to 0, we see that a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and then c is equal to negative 1. Now let's go ahead and then use the quadratic formula that is m is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac or divided by 2 times a. So let's put in the values of a, b and c. So we're going to have m is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 or divided by 2 times 1. So we're going to have m is equal to negative 1 plus or minus. We have 1 squared which is 1 then negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 that is positive 4 plus this one making 5. So we're going to have square root of 5 divided by 2. Remember, we let 1 half all to the power x equal to m. So we're going to have this to be equal to negative 1 plus. We are considering the positive side first. So we're going to have square root of 5 divided by 2. Now let's go ahead and then introduce ln on both sides of the equation. Right? So we're going to have ln of negative 1 plus root 5 divided by 2 right then the x will come down so we have ln of one half is equal to what is there already negative one plus root five divided by two now let's go ahead and then divide each side by ln of one half so that we got negative one plus square root of five divided by two or divided by ln of one half. 
right? And the numerator will give us approximately negative 0 0.4812 divided by the denominator, we will be getting approximately 0 0.6931. So we have x approximately equal to 0 0.6931. Four, three as one of the solutions to the problem then we would also consider the negative value we have one half or to the power x is equal to negative one minus root five divided by two now note that one half all squared is greater than zero but on the right hand side the whole of this one is less than zero so it makes this statement false statement right so it means we are not going to consider this one the final answer to the problem turns out to be this subscribe to my channel for more videos thanks for watching have a nice day go to the description of this video i have placed some link that will take you to download books on amazon in the description down below like comment and share bye